John Hall of Orleans talks about those great harmonies in that band. I'm John Bowden from Rocky Street Music. The harmonies in the band, I was just talking to Graham Goble in Australia of LRB and, and uh, we were talking about, you know, great vocal bands. And of course, Orleans came up as, as far as harmonies. It was just, they were thick and gorgeous and lush and all the things you want. In it. You know, like oh, thanks, you, you know. mentioned the Eagles and, but, but yeah, Orleans and now our really little cool. river band also, of course, uh, uh, and player and, and firefall. And, you know, there's, there's a, there's sort of a school of, of rock pop music. It's probably going to be considered pop now, but, uh, was rock was all I mean, Linda Ronstadt was rock at the time, you know? And, um, but, uh, yeah, I've always loved singing harmony with people and, uh, and Larry and Lance and Lane have always done that. They've been obviously with the brother connections, like the staple singers or the, the brothers Osborne or, or the, uh, uh, Jackson five, or whatever, like families sing well together. There's a gen genetic thing and also a, a learned, uh, phrasing and, and harmony. So I've sung with the Hoppins long enough that I know how to blend with them and, and, uh, and they with me. And it's, uh, you know, it's just uh, the harmony really, we've always pictured Orleans as having a rhythmic bottom rhythm section having, you know, in the beginning it was very R and B influenced, reggae influenced, New Orleans influenced in terms of the kind of feels that Alan Toussaint and the meters were doing. That's why we called it Orleans. Uh, to begin with, and uh, and then uh, uh, the harmonies were placed on top of that. And when Dance With Me became a hit, that was the first and only for a while acoustic track that we had. So our hardcore fans who knew the first record and had heard us live in these college gigs and clubs around the Northeast knew us as a dance band, as a bar and, you know, college bar band. And, uh, and they heard that and we thought we had gone commercial and um but you know it's just something that people liked and and gradually i think the audience like that also of course heard still the one and, and hopefully got into other things like reach a little bit higher like spring fever like the other songs that were on that waking and dreamy album that jerry Murata played on as well and um uh and those are some pretty funky rhythm section pieces uh uh the harmonies were on top of it but we've always liked to do that combination of the the R and B, uh, a reggae uh, rhythm section with the harmonies on top. Oh, what was your first? How did you meet Larry? What was your first impression of Larry when you met? Well, him? I first met Larry uh, before, well before Orleans started, at a jam session in New York at uh, Harvey Brooks's loft. Harvey Brooks was the bass player in the Electric Flag, and played with Bob Dylan on the Blonde on Blonde record, which is one of the great Dylan records, of course, and. Um, he played with with many other artists, uh, and he was signed by Clive Davis to be a producer and uh, A and R man at Columbia Records, and signed me to Columbia to make my first solo album, the, the uh, Action album. And uh, but Wells played a couple songs on that on my Action album, and uh, and I had played with him on sessions for other people. So I went to this jam session in New York at Harvey's Loft in uh, Soho. And Harvey was there playing drums and all these other people. And there was Sky across the room playing guitar, who I didn't know. I walked in, there was some kind of a jam, a blues jam in the key of D going on. And, uh, and I plugged in my guitar and my amp and started to join in. And at some point, I started playing the melody to the Age of Aquarius, the song from here. When the moon is in the seventh house, da 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 da, -da. And from across the loft. I hear somebody playing harmony a third above my guitar. And that was Larry. The first thing we ever did was play harmony electric guitar lead. And uh, after we finished the, the jam, I walked over there and stuck my hand. I said, hey, I'm John Hall. And he said, I'm Larry Oppen. And we never saw each other again until Wells said, let's get Larry down from Ithaca to, to join us as a trio in January 1972. You know, and the, then we called it Orleans. Why did you bring Jerry in, by the way? Why, when you had Wells, was Wells just going through a tough time? or something? Why did you bring Jerry Murata in? Oh, Wells was bored with playing drums and wanted to play piano. He was an excellent piano and organ player. He played organ and, uh, well, he played organ on, on uh, Waking and Dreaming, which is the title song of our biggest album. And uh, 
he's his mother was a concert pianist and she taught him to play piano and other keyboards and but he had a love hate relationship with it and he was a fabulous drummer very musical drummer because he took that knowledge of of pitch and and uh you know the the melodic musicality stuff Jerry had nothing but beautiful things to say about him he just said man when that guy when when he was in the when he was in the zone he was in the pocket like nobody's business yeah and jerry Murata came in and we did uh the Waking Dreamy album played drums on Still the One, obviously, and and uh, he's played on many great records by you know Peter Gabriel or uh, various other luminaries, and uh, yeah. So Wells just when I got Wells into my band originally before we started calling New Orleans, it was December, uh, right before the January, you know, December seventy one, before we did the January seventy two you know, bringing Larry in in January and then doing our first show as Orleans. Uh, the only way Wells would come back and play with me in my band uh, was if I let him play piano and had somebody else playing drums. You know, he always wanted to bounce back and forth. And, and so, uh, you know, I guess that happens. People, uh, uh, you know, I, I'm sort of the same way. I tend to get bored with one thing. That's why I think I go into politics or go into teaching mm -hmm. skiing or solo records and Orleans records and uh, that I like tangents. And, uh, uh, but anyway, it's, you know, it's an honor for me to play with Wells and with Larry and, and with Janice. It's all, yeah. um, you know, it's a, these are blessings that, that I have had and, and uh, we, we have all of us to work with certain people. Somebody had an Orleans. Oh yeah. Record. Right. I yeah. Thought... Need somebody to love. Yeah. Uh, so uh, yeah, that John Paul, John Paul Daniel, my buddy, collaborator uh had the idea for that and the bass part and the chord progression and we worked on it together and finished it uh the lyrics are mostly mine i think but uh but it was you know it's a 50 50 collaboration and um that's kind of the nashville thing and i think it's a it's a it's a better way than going well uh, you wrote 85 percent of this and i only wrote 15 percent or something you know there are times when you know maybe it's really one person is a very small part of a song, but but most of the time, is anybody in the room when it's being written is, is a co-writer, and it's just split. Is that the Nashville right. way? Is that is that is that what they? It is the Nashville way. Yeah. Um, so and, run that uh, by me again. Run that by. What is the net? Well, if you're writing songs with somebody else and you're sitting in the room working on it together, even if it's mostly one person's idea, right, uh, it's a fifty-fifty split in terms of the copyright and the and the royalties from it, and that's something like. Well, Sharon Vaughn and I sat down to write I Think of You, the very first track on the record. And uh, and uh, it was a writing date. You know, I had never, I knew of her. She's a Hall of Fame songwriter and has all these Grammys and country music awards to her credit. And, and um, but I had never written with her before. And we sat at the, at the breakfast table and wrote this song together an hour or two. And, um, it's my music and her lyrics, which makes it easy. They usually ask a 50, 50, but, but even if I, you know, I came up with some of the words and she came up with a musical change or you know, chord change or melody at some point, there still would be 50, 50. And I think that's better than trying to parse this word was mine. And that one was yours. It's just, uh, you know, I'd rather be able to write with the same person again and, you know, <laughs> not have feeling like, Oh, they tried to squeeze me out of part of the percentage of it. Yeah. Okay. And um, so, yeah, the, you know, the songs that I write that Orleans records are still me writing them. And uh, it's not really much of a difference, I think, in terms of the character of the song uh, or the quality of the song. It's just some things really work great for the band. And, uh, you know, Lance and I make agreements about that. But back when Larry and Wells were alive we the four of us would kick around these ideas and and uh figure out which songs would make a record would would uh pass the the bar that we wanted the pretty high bar for for you know, proving of a song and you know the nice thing about a solo record is that i'm the guy who sets that bar and, and makes those decisions although i listened to a lot of people and we had songs i had songs that were left off of it that could have been on it but uh, uh one of which I was going to put on this record and I saved it for the Orleans 50th anniversary record that's coming out in January. 
Reclaiming My Time is the brand new album from John Hall. There'll be links in the description of this video where you can pick up the album. Make sure you comment on our video, subscribe to our channel, and share our videos. And we don't say this enough, buy a t-shirt, help support our channel. We really appreciate it when you basically wear our emblem proudly. There are many different uh, t-shirt sizes, there are many different uh, styles. You can pick them all up. Links in the description. I'm John Bowden. This is Rock History Music.